The last video that I did with Custom Hip Hop Official was a great success. A lot of people seem to have liked the variety of different shapes of moissanite as well as color that they were able to offer. Since it's a direct manufacturing facility overseas, they have a lot of other stuff that maybe US brands don't potentially have. Now Victoria reached out once again wanting to show off some of their custom work. So they sponsored today's video and sent over a customer order that was recently finalized for me to check out and give my interpretation. So let's roll my music so we could check out this custom moissanite Night and silver big boy Jesus piece. I'm kind of a big deal. Good morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This is your boy, C to the U to the B to the A. Jesus pieces are a dime a dozen. There's so many random designs out there that it's insane. It's probably one of the most popular pendant pieces in the hip hop game or in the game, period. So my assumption on her thought process behind this is so we can see some of the custom work and what they're able to do as far as stone placement, designing, and enamel work. So this piece is enamel. I got to see a little bit of a preview prior, but all I've done was cut off the tape and stuff so we can unbox it together so I can get the true interpretation. Now, what I can tell you off of this packaging alone is that this is not a light piece, unless there's multiple in here and I just don't know about it. But let's go ahead and unwrap this joint right now so we can look at custom hip hop official Jesus piece with enamel and moissanite. All right, so, all right, seems to be one. Wow, that's a big Jesus piece. Okay, so it's wrapped up, but look, it's, look at this to the size of my head. This joint is, I can't wait to weigh this thing. This thing's heavy, holy shit. It's gonna take me a minute to unwrap it, please hold. You know how much I love unwrapping. Ow, mother... Okay, so the horns on Jesus' crown are sharp. Look at this shit. There's a lot of detail in this thing. Whoa, holy heck. That's a big, three-dimensional Jesus piece. Check out. Sheesh. There's a lot of time that went into this joint. Holy crap. Wow, first I wanna weigh this thing, cause it's insane. Over 250 grams of 925 silver, moissanite, and enamel. Now, full disclosure, this is a customer piece and they do all this crazy custom work down to typing in the carrot. They stamped it 10K, but I confirmed it's moissanite. That's as per customer request. And as per customer request, why don't you just stamp it 14K if you're gonna fake it at 10? I'm gonna start off with the obvious, the moissanite setting in here. The moissanite setting is absolutely pristine, super detailed. When it's a bigger piece, the setting can be a little bit easier, but this is down to the most minuscule details. Crazy, look at the details in the hair. The setting on this joint is bonkers. The horns are actually sharp down to the top of the head. Damn, details under the beard. Beautiful enamel work. The painting on the enamel work is very, very impressive. If I'm gonna critique anything, would have to be the contouring issue here, making Jesus's nose a little bulbous. You know what I'm saying? So side profile, it's a beautiful piece. But I think there's a little bit of a discrepancy here on the painting. It has like this contour, right? That's what ladies call this joint, like contour. It has like this contour feature kind of making the nose look a little bit bulbous, but from side profile, it's really good. Now, Jesus got some thick ass eyebrows. He needs some threading. There is some beautiful manufacturing and setting here. I'm very, very impressed. And this is just so solid. It's so big. Like, this is a ridiculous statement piece to say the least. But she really outdid herself. Like, when you're looking at manufacturing custom pieces that are this detailed and huge, like you want to see all those minute details. How good is the enamel painting? Does it give it a realistic style quality? Is the setting clean? Is it nice? Is it uniform? Does it flow with the actual pendant? Do the, does the piece have a nice finish? Is it all around? Did they skimp on little details like under the chin where you can easily lose some detail? No, she went above and beyond 
putting details all over it. Again, every piece can be critiqued because it's all personal interest. For me, I own one Jesus piece, but really it's not my thing, it's not my style, regardless of the look and appearance. So this for me would not be my thing. However, Jesus pieces are ridiculously popular because it's a lot of other people's things. So design is super subjective. For me, critiquing would be the contour color and the enamel on the nose, making the nose look a little bit rounder than it actually is and then maybe the eyebrows are a little bit too thick. Now, I'm not trying to indicate that Jesus to get his eyebrows done like a Puerto Rican, but I'm pretty sure in the Old Testament, they didn't have threading. Let's hit you with some close-up shots, shall we? So the pendant is a little over four inches in height from bail to base and from shoulder to shoulder over four inches as well. So it's four and a half height, four inches in width. That is a monstrous pendant. Now I found the chain to be able to put this joint. This, this bail can easily accommodate a variety of chains, but I'm very, very impressed. Most importantly, again, the capability of the enamel work, which let me tell you something, not a lot of people can pull off clean enamel. They think they can, but they absolutely can't. This is definitely clean enamel. You can absolutely see the color blends and the changes and the dynamic contrast that this pendant has. I was able to find a chain to put this on just so I can try this joint. I could already tell you that this is gonna be ridiculously uncomfortable on my neck. I don't like chains over 300 grams. It's uncomfortable for me, but for video purposes, yeah, kid, like, Definitely need a bigger chain for this joint. This feels like the ludicrous video. Stand up, feels like a midget is hanging off my neck. This is wild cringe. Son, look at this joint. You hear this shit? The person who's gonna be rocking this piece is definitely going to make a statement saying that I am a believer. This is a lot of weight on the neck, but we gotta test the Moissanites, right? Everything tests out official tissue. Now you know what we gotta do. Neck profile! Now, Victoria was gracious enough to provide me a manufacturing video of this piece, which I will B-roll right now for you guys to check out. Then we'll go into some specs. All right, so according to the breakdown that she sent over, it said the pendant is about three inches in height, which I measured a little bit over that, including bail though. Material used, as I mentioned, is sterling silver and VVS moissanite. It is a three-dimensional solid Jesus piece. Yes, we can definitely see that. There's no 
hollow in here. So it's hand painted enamel face and skin and the process took approximately 88 hours of labor. She pretty much indicated like, yo, if you want a custom piece, I can knock anything out of the box. All I need is a picture, price point, and we can make it happen. This particular piece ran around $3,800, which I know you're like, yo, that's wild crazy for a 925 silver enamel and moissanite. But think about the gargantuan size and weight that this piece has. Obviously the big bulk of stuff here is labor, setting, etc. But if you were to get this joint in the US, it's gonna be a grip and imagine if you were to get this joint in solid white gold with this same type of work, what you're gonna be paying. And keep in mind, this is in 925 silver as well as VVS moissanite, but she works in 10, 14 and 18 karat gold. So you're getting all this type of work hand setting VVS moissanite, which you see past the diamond tester, hand painted enamel work, and in this case, over 250 some odd grams of a pendant that she was able to produce in a four to five week time frame, according to her records. This is the type of work that they're able to do overseas, and some people feel some type of way about things being outsourced or whatever. Everything we have in life is outsourced. All those bust down Rolexes that you see on the gram, aftermarket bracelets, aftermarket setting, aftermarket bezels, aftermarket dials, they don't get made in the US. So clearly she has a team that's able to execute pretty much anything you guys want. So if you're into the Moissanite in silver space, she is an amazing alternative at this point. It's direct manufacturing. There's no middle people. So she's holding everything down overseas. So for those who want that direct to manufacture kind of look, this is definitely an option for you. Shout out to Victoria. I'll put the Instagram information below. You can reach out to her directly. She'll be able to accommodate your needs. You've gotten to see the variety of moissanite and hand setting work that she's able to do with her team. I love y'all mother suckers from the heart and I'll see y'all snitches next time. You know who it is. Biggest in the game. Smooches.